This is the Look Great Naked Cooking Show, and I'm your host, Nathan Chase Plummer. I will share with you my own healthy gourmet recipes straight from the Look Great Naked Cookbook series. These recipes require minimal prep time and are sure to impress your friends. We will also provide you with the macronutrients to keep you informed on what's going into your body. Along with the freshest ingredients, we will help you pick the healthiest options. Join us each week as we provide you with the tools to look great naked. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Look Great Naked Cooking Show. I'm your host, Nathan Chase Plummer, and today we are making the Beckoning Siren Cocktail. It's from the Look Great Naked Seafood and Cock Tuss. So here is what you need if you want to play. We have some ice, some blackberries, lemons, fresh rosemary. It's important that it's fresh, guys. A couple glasses here today. We're using mason jars and our favorite coconut rum, some simple syrup, as well as club soda. Up in the club. Alrighty, guys. First, we're going to start off throwing some ice into our mason jars aka the fine crystal here at the look great naked chicken show I washed my hands yesterday so we're okay here I want to tell you guys that this drink is good for summer, but it's good all year round. It's just light and super refreshing. It's a very clean drink, low sugar. It's good for hangovers, you guys. All right, and then we are going to take some of the rosemary. Okay, this is literally a tree branch. I'm kind of tough and I can't even rip it in half. So we're gonna throw this in the glass. Part of the thing is when you bring this to your mouth to take a sip, like the smell of fresh rosemary is, you can't beat it. So that's half the trick. I could put gasoline in here, but if I add fresh rosemary, you can just, you could drink gasoline on ice all day long. However, I don't condone, nor recommend that. Please do not drink gasoline. Okay, funny story, when I was a kid, we used to pick raspberries up at Bear Lake, and one summer there was the case of the guy who sniffed gas, and he was like the town scary guy. And at night we would all have to lock our doors, we were afraid of the gas sniffer. That's when you live in a small town when you're afraid of the guy who sniffs gas. Forget the murders, the crime, we had a gas sniffer. Okay, we are going to add two ounces of our favorite coconut rum. And by two ounces, it's like I have big paws, so they're all a heavy pour, guys. Sorry. And then we are going to add a little simple syrup. It helps if you put it in like a super cute little thing. So when you pour, you just go, oh, so it's a dainty. And then we are gonna cut up the lemons. We all know I love to play Fruit Ninja. Slice these babies up. We're gonna squeeze some, and then we're also gonna cut some for cuteness. So it's always a good rule of thumb to cut for cuteness first. La cuteness here. I just noticed it's always fair to fill these up equally. You have to, you can't let friends and or director slash producers be left having the short glass. So now we're gonna put in the cute ones. And let's face it, we only really ever make the first one the cute one. And then we just start dumping alcohol in and fill it up and have one. Okay, and after we have done for cuteness, we are going to squeeze the other half of the lemon in. 
and try not to get the crew in the eye as you squeeze the lemon as they're operating the gimbals. My eyes! Woo! And rule of thumb, it's always good to put a little flavor on the rim. I usually forget because I'm too excited to have the drink, but when you do remember, it's optimal. Alrighty, we are going to add a little more rosemary. These bad boys. And then add some, sorry, our trombone player in the back was warming up for our outro music. And we are going to just top these babies off with some volcano juice, club soda. That somebody shook up before they put in front of me, knowing I would just dive in. And top these off with that. Do a float of simple syrup on the top. We all know we want that first drink to be sweet. We don't want to have sour, bitter beer face for the first sips of our drink. And then we will give it a mix. It's good to have like a big fat knife in front of you as your mixer. This is the beckoning siren, so it's like a mermaid call from like a distant shore. You may think it's like waves lapping in the background, but it could just be a siren calling to you, telling you that it's five o'clock somewhere. This is one of my favorites, the rosemary. I promise when you bring it to your face, you're gonna be in love. Could be gasoline, but it actually tastes amazing. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe, tell your friends, forward it, throw it on your Facebook page, just get it out there and let us know what you think. Make this at home, invite me over. I'm available Monday through Friday, most nights, sometimes Saturday, just let me know. And I'm excited to hear what you guys think. So remember, don't just settle for looking great, look great naked. Love you guys, bye bye.